now ladies and gentlemen with the most recent updates inside of counter-strike global offensive that being the matchmaking update there's been a lot of good information alongside that and probably the most important for most people at least watching this video specifically and of course that being the antwerp removal date the exact date when valve supposedly i say that in quotation gets removed and the reason why well we'll get more in depth in today's video but essentially i think there's a decent opportunity and decent chance for valve to maybe delay this a couple extra days for whatever reason but i want to share my thoughts around it and on top of that i want to discuss the fake hypes for antwerp and some other things like cases going on in the community at this point in time is it real is it not real should you hop on some of those trends you see right now and finally, I want to give my opinion and my vision for a roadmap with Antwerp 2022 and just the CSGO investing scene and market kind of right now. Because obviously with things going sky high, we're eventually going to hit a point when things start to go pretty low. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. And here's your quick word from our video sponsor skins monkey now today's video sponsor is of course skins monkey now if you guys are unfamiliar with what skins monkey is they are currently the biggest growing counter-strike global offensive trading marketplace for skins which is absolutely amazing with great fees as well let's just say you guys have some skins you're really not feeling anymore skins monkey is the best way to trade them in this trade to be exact i actually profited 18 cents which doesn't seem like a whole lot but considering it's a trading website it's actually very very good sign up today to get up to a five dollar bonus which is very nice and if you've never used the website before well you can use my code mando go up to the top right you claim that bonus and if you guys want to deposit with real life cash or crypto you get a 25 percent deposit bonus which is very very nice so as of viewing this video specifically on youtube antwerp is supposedly supposed to get removed on august 8th so 8 8 2022 which is going to be pretty interesting to see how that goes, which obviously I will cover when that happens. Now, the main reason I think it could get delayed in the next couple of days is just the fact that Valve most likely is working on so many other things. And there's been instances in the past with Stockholm 2021 souvenir packages, for an example, where they could just completely forgot about them. They left them in the game for a very long time. I think the same instance could be with this, but I think a lot more people would riot, maybe not buy stuff in the future if that was the case. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I know people probably have plans to either go in, probably all in, right before, maybe a couple hours before this update happens specifically, which the update when that comes, the time-wise, I think could possibly be maybe anywhere from 4 p.m. to I would say 8 p.m. Eastern, probably a decent idea right there. Because Valve can update pretty late. The M4A1S nerf that we've recently seen in the scene happened at as late as 12 p.m. or midnight or the next day, essentially, Eastern, which is the latest update I think we've ever had in CS. Some of the earliest updates has probably been 3.34 p.m. Eastern, so that's just a decent idea of what you can expect right there, but most likely towards like supper, dinner time. And going into that, I would definitely not go all in. Put your eggs in different baskets, right? Besides maybe just one individual capsule, go into some stickers, go into some capsules, pick up some other things on the market, especially when those things and that update actually does happen when it does. Because people are most likely going to sell older investments from Stockholm 2021, Stockholm patches, Operation Skins, Operation Riptide Agents, because they're gonna wanna try and get on this trend and just something they lost on for a little while. Or maybe just didn't have the opportunity to because they just chose not to buy it. And this date gives a pretty good opportunity for a lot of people in both situations and both boats here. And essentially option A, or boat one I would say, is you've bought into Antwerp, maybe you're having second thoughts and you don't think you're going to be able to make profit, let's just say within the first 24 to 48 hours like past previous majors. And essentially every single major up until this point in time has been extremely profitable within the first 24 to 48 hours or even the first week for some even rmr was very profitable for a very short period of time and i think people might try and capitalize and jump on that boat once again but with that you have to know that we're most likely going to see i would say personally at least a million legends capsules on the market by the time of this update that comes out people are going to have them in storage units probably list them in the market there they go and the stickers, I think they're going to get applied like crazy. And the hope for me anyway, with these capsules and with this investment for Antwerp is because they look so good, they look a little different than Stockholm and past previous majors. And because you have a team like Cloud9 and some very famous players or some very good looking signatures like Rocks, even if we have a very high quantity on some of the capsules, people are still going to want to open them because the stickers look so good. And with the stickers becoming so much harder to unbox, for example, the Rocks Hollow is three times harder to unbox than a knife people are going to go through two or three thousand capsules most likely at least your average joe that opens cases opens crates every single day to try and get something good in the future so the idea behind that it's going to bring down the quantity on the market but also rise the price up of those stickers because they're going to be a lot harder to unbox 
And obviously when we die down the quantity on some of these capsules, it's gonna drop the quantity a lot, but drive up the price because it's just pretty much supply and demand. But that's the thing, we have to have demand for these capsules in the next two months, or it's not really gonna work out. And of course the other option is you're gonna be waiting until the end, very end. Like you're gonna be playing with fire, I would say up until the next 24 hours where the update could come out at any point in time. Antwerp is officially removed, you can't buy in. And right before then you're gonna buy into those capsules or those stickers you want to specifically. But you have to remember like 10,000 or more other people are most likely going to be doing that the exact same time in the exact same way as you because they're going to be looking at the most scarce, the lowest quantity, which that isn't always the best to make money on CS, but that of course is just my personal opinion. And of course, for the roadmap. Now, this is not a full in-depth roadmap, but this is just what I think right now. I think if these capsules do relatively pretty well with people opening them in the next two months, I think we could see a lot of these capsules most likely hit at least 40 cents and stay at 40 cents for a long period in time. Now, if people start to fall off of this in the next two to three weeks because they've just kind of grown out of Antwerp specifically, they're going to older majors once again, the CS10 capsules out as to say if Source 2's out, people aren't going to be as interested. And on top of that, this is a 50-50 chance, really, at this point in time. If the Rio Major has transparent stickers, investing into stickers in anything really past 2019 is a complete gamble going forward. Maybe not Stockholm because the quantity is so low, but even then it's still pretty scarce because it's not going to give anyone really any faith in the future that in two months from this major coming out, we get the next one. What's stopping Valve from making such good stickers is the exact same ones or something very similar like Stockholm and Antwerp once again because the sales were so high. Because really that's why Antwerp has been on the shop for so long is because the sales have been so high and that's not always the greatest thing. These are some of the best looking stickers we've seen in such a long time. I think personally it's most likely going to work out fine. I don't really see any huge problems right now. But if you're definitely nervous or don't really know the pros and cons with investing into majors, I'd definitely do your research on that maybe before this update comes out. And on top of that, the final thing is the fake hypes and the FOMO crazy videos we're seeing right now. Now, this is specifically on Antwerp. I know everything in CS is up right now, which that doesn't always stay like that. We've had a lot of instances in the past where CS prices and player numbers have risen quite a bit. There's always going to be at one point in time, some sort of decline or some sort of decline in players or numbers, people opening cases. It doesn't really matter. At one point in time or another in the future, we're going to see that. So right now, because we're hitting an all time high, you have to remember that. And well, with that, there's been a lot of people talking about the rocks hollow exploding, which it has. But at the same time, you have to remember the quantity is so low on a sticker like that. It can be easily manipulated on the market just by buying up five or 10 of these or possibly even selling a few for a decently higher price and then maybe buying them on an alt account. Now, that's kind of a stretch, but that's definitely something that can happen here. That's kind of all I have to discuss for today's video. Just make sure to do your own research and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.